Hey there internets, I'm Michael and this is Two Can Play That Game, bringing you the second part of our playthrough of Five Tribes by Days of Wonder. So let's take it back to the table. Okay, so bidding. Pixel's gonna get to do two bids in a row here. Is there anything she really, 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 really wants to do? Uh, get resources would be useful because she's uh, not got the big score that um, she thought she did. She could use some fish in here. So fish would get that back up to being an eight. So that would be useful. So resources, definitely valuable to her. But I'm not sure they're valuable enough for her to uh, buy into too much. So she's just going to go double zero. And then for my go, well, I'll go zero and one, I guess. So double turn and I get to... Uh, jump ahead but what am i going to do with that turn well viziers are pretty good for me so getting hold of those would be good getting hold of some elders or fakirs would also be useful so my first turn i'm going to take that and then i will take these and I will drop a yellow there. We'll drop a green there. A blue there. And a red there. And a green there. Getting me free merchants. And that also means I get a palm tree on this oasis. So these free merchants will give me a spice pot and two fakirs. And I will then use a fakir and an elder to place a camel. And I will place it place it down here on this five one and then it's my second go and I will go one two three getting me two elders and a palace on there and then I'll use an elder and a fakir to place a camel and I will place this camel, I'll place it there. So, on to Pixel. Take these. Yeah, that would work. One, two, three. So we take these and we'll use them to kill this builder here, which means we get to place a camel there. And then uh, we can spend six to buy two, so we'll do that. And we've got gold, we don't have fish. So we'll buy the fish, we've got pots. So we could either buy a fakir or we could buy something to increase that from three to four, which would be an increase of six points. So I think we'll do that, we'll buy that. And then we still have our second go. Oh, before we do our second go, we can spend two elders to place a camel on an empty tile. So, where's good? We've got sixes, sixes, fives, nothing but sixes and fives. Um, 
Well, I might take a gamble on a five that it might get a palace put on it. So we'll go there. And then second, and we'll go for this chunk here. I'll go one, two, three, four, five, and then six. So we take the two assassins and we use them to kill this blue guy here, which allows us to place a camel. And then we can pay six to buy two resources, so we will do that. We'll take the pots and the fish. And that's then cleanup time. Okay, and um, bidding. Well, it's getting quite uh, cutthroat now. Okay, so paid one. So that will go there. Then, uh, do I want to split my people or keep them together? I mean, it's going to be expensive if I split them. Is there anything really good that I can see? Yeah, I'm going to pay any free and go there. And then what does Pixel want to do? Well, she has very little money. So I think she's just going to have to take a gamble and go for the zeros that I won't block whatever she might want to do. Okay, I think I'm going to take all of these off of here. And then I'll drop... This one here. This one here. Here. Oh, no, I've gone wrong somehow. I shouldn't have dropped him. That's what I went wrong with. That one. That one. That one. That one. That one. So that gets me those two and another palace on there. And, oh, I don't have the stuff to claim anything. Ah, she's only got one camel left. Um, ugh, maybe I should have been smarter about this. Never mind. Um, so my second go, I'm going to take these and I'm going to drop. That one. That one. That one. And then that one. So that gets me four, one, two, three, four, five. So 20 coins. Okay, and then we're on to Pixel. Should go there to get some monies. One, two, three, four, five. That would get her 10 monies. So she'll do that. She'll pick that one up, go there. So that's 10 money. But I think what she's going to do is break up all of these builders, like so. Take that and then pay the six for the resources. So she wanted that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Completed set. And the diamonds gives her a set of seven. Okay, so that is end of round. We need to clean up. So we've got two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. So these two here are what Rogue needs to complete her second set. Whew. Okay, I don't think she can manage that. We've got very few camels left. Let's see what will happen. So me bidding first. I'm going to pay four. And Pixel's just going to go zero, zero. So me first. And 
I'll go with those, that'll get me six. I mean, I place camel there. And then my second go, I will go one, two, three, and then I will assassinate this one here will allow me to place my final camel and I can spend free to buy one resource so I'm just going to buy a Fakir and then I'm going to use an Elder and a Fakir to use this power to look at free genies and choose one to keep and Jibjus, whatever his name is I'll take because that's worth eight points. Um, okay, so that is me done with. And I'm out of camels, so we'd finish this round, and that's then the end of the game. So Pixel will. She can go. One, two, three. Finishing there, so places a palace and assassinates that builder there, which allows her to place a camel there. And then her final go. I think the uh, best thing she can do is to go one, two, getting those two viziers and placing another palace. And that is the game over. So we just need to total up our scores. So the scores then, I've removed all the meeples off the board and anything that just wasn't needed for the scoring. So money wise first, well, Pixel only has nine coins. I have nine coins, but they're all five. So <laughs> I have 45 on there. But we both end up with less than we started with, um, which isn't always the way, but uh, that's interesting that we both did. Then we have the Viziers. Now, Pixel only had four of these, and I had eight plus each of mine are worth three points. So I got 34 points for Viziers because whoever has the most gets a bonus 10 points, and Pixel got four. Neither of us got any points for Elders because we were both using them because of our genie powers. And then genies, well, I have 22 points worth of genies, which isn't surprising because I had the take genies card. Um, and Pixel has four points. Then palm trees, well, let's see. I've got one, two, three four palm trees, so that is 12 points. And Pixel has just the one, so that's three points. Then our palaces, I have three over here and a fourth one there, so that's 20 points. And Pixel has three, so that's 15 points. Then our camels out on the board. So I have here, 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 oh, and here, which adds up to 85. And pixels all add up to 67 points. So if you're following along with the maths at home, you're probably fairly close to already knowing who has won. But we still need to do our resources. So I have two, two unique resources in one set, which gets me three points. It's not, not really much to uh, shout home about that. Well, what about Pixel? Because obviously she was playing a resource heavy game. Well, she's got a set of nine unique resources. So let's just double check because I was getting this wrong through the game. They are all different. Yes, they are. So that's 60 points there. 
She's got one on its own, so that's one. And then she has a set of seven, which is another 40 points. So that's 101 points for resources for Pixel. So then we tally up and the scores are 221 to 203. So I won on 221, bad luck Pixel, better luck next time. And that is five tribes. I do hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have, please do check out the rest of the videos on the channel, subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends and family. And also take a look at us on social media. You can find us on Facebook and on Twitter. And as always, thanks for watching and bye for now.